Today, Allie Vincent is reuniting with an old friend, someone she met while competing on The Biggest Loser, Chef Devin Alexander. Devin is the force behind several top-selling cookbooks and knows firsthand the struggle to drop weight. She's gone through what I've gone through. She's lost over 70 pounds, and one of the reasons that she was inspired to become a chef was so that she could stay healthy and figure out fun, creative ways without feeling like she was doing without. Chef Devin is showing Allie how one fruit can be used a number of different ways. Sometimes, you know, you need to find other ways to get your fruits and vegetables in your diet. And so if you're having a sweet and salty craving, yes. here's a way to have a serving of fruit. So we made these prosciutto wrap grapes. And it's oh. literally as simple as taking this lean prosciutto, and you'll notice, like, I trimmed the fat here. Okay. The yeah. visible. So then you literally just take this, and this kind of mimics the, have you ever had melon? You know, prosciutto yeah. melon? Yeah, 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 so yeah, it's yeah. the same thing. You just roll it up. Stick the toothpick inside. Believe it or not, they're only nine calories each. So you can have nine can of I these. Can I yes, taste here. it? That, yes. So this is a, a really good 100 calorie snack if you want. Yeah, nine of those way better than a 100 calorie snack, right? Sweet, salty. Yeah. Mmm, that's really good. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make it. You just roll it. And look how easy this is. This is what we're gonna make now yes. is a salad. Yeah. I eat salads now. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to hit, see what this is because this looks like a lot of flavor. Yeah, I'm all about, you know, taking the ingredients that are in your refrigerator already and, you know, combining them all to make really good things. Just want a couple tablespoons of walnuts. Two tablespoons, you think? Okay. Uh, probably about three-ish. Yeah, I think it looks yeah. more like three. And then some reduced fat blue cheese. And then I did an assortment of grapes. I had tons of grapes in my refrigerator, so I did all three colors. What is one grape calorie? That's one thing I don't know. You know, it's 90 calories for three quarters of a cup. And then uh, the chicken. And then we're putting balsamic, light balsamic dressing oh, on here. This is me being a chef. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> we clean the edge of the bowl. Clean the edge so that it looks pretty and you didn't, yeah, it just came like that. It's, like, yeah. it's not as pretty as if you were to do it, but. <laughs> Sure it is. It no, looks good. Perfect. So four people, that's a lot. It is. And it's uh, 359 calories and 13 grams of fat. So here's, here's the plate of it. Like you'll oh, see yeah. a one serving. It's a pretty big serving. So awesome. now we're going to move on to dessert. These are grapes with cheesecake dip. Um, this looks dangerous. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's really not. Are you sure? This is basically we're going to take this block of reduced fat cream cheese, it put it in the bowl, fat. and then we're putting in a quarter cup of sugar, and then vanilla, fat-free vanilla yogurt. And yeah. we put the vanilla in and you just need a little bit to thin it out. Okay, so this is it. What this actually so became, that's it. how did it get so moist? It's uh, from the yogurt. This is living big. Like, it this is. It's really is. Is living big, it's living decadent, but you know, it's not that hard. So we're skewering. Grab a skewer. And then you literally just thread them on there. It's 66 uh, calories for a skewer and a tablespoon and a half of dip. Okay. And uh, three grams of fat. Yum. So pretty good. That's really good. That's better. Cheesecake E, right? It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> have you been counting my drink? <laughs> we have a, a drink here. What is it? We are making grape mojitos. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> so we're going to muddle with some grapes, which I will let you do with some mint leaves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just mash them up nicely. Oh, I can smell it already. Mm -hmm. That yeah, the mint is really wafting. So it's so it's your traditional mojito, but then we're adding all these grapes, so you can get a serving of fruit even here. We're gonna throw in some agave nectar for the added sweetness. I fresh squeeze some limes, so just pour in the lime juice. So then once that's mixed up, we're going to divide it between these two glasses. Well, perfect. Look at the pretty purple color. Okay, and then uh, you're going to put a shot of. The rum. <laughs> okay, now I would put some ice in there. Okay, I there you go. Okay. Yay! Yay! And then do a little stirry stir. And there you have it. See, so normally, like one shot would be as much smaller a drink. Because the grapes are giving it bulk, you feel like you're having a much bigger drink. It takes you long to, longer to get through. And so, right. um, here's, to, here's to you. Oh, and, and you so and this excited. awesome new show. Okay. Okay. So good. Here's to you and your books <laughs> and your show.